Shalom, Shalom. This is Thawai, a uh, Jew, coming in with another quick lesson. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises and glory, double honor to Tiawa, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakadash. Double honors to the elders of Apostle Great Millstone, who push the word true and sincerely. Salawam to the Akim, that's scattered through the four corners of the earth, preaching the word true and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like to the speckled bird, that's scattered through the four corners of the earth, uh, preaching this word true and sincerely. Say Shalom to y'all. And uh, in the title of this lesson is uh, The True Justice. Is we're going to get on high, you know, that's from the Most High Son, the Mashiach Yahushua. You know, he's going to save his people. That's the true justice. And the true justice of this, uh, the works of of the men of the Lord out there doing for, for the nation of Israel, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And, you know, we can't put matter into our own hands. Because like the scripture says, uh, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Because, you know, Esau, he he been blessed with the sword. Like the scripture says, you know, Job 9 to 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And he covered the faces of the judges thereof. You know, you know we've been uh, blessed with the uh, kingdom. You know, this is Esau's world, not Jacob's world. Just like the scripture says, uh, Esau is the end of the world, Jacob beginning that following. So the true justice is coming on high, was the Most High Son, which is the Most High, uh, his, his name is Yahweh, in the Hebrew name, and his son, you know, our deliverer, our savior, Hamashiach, Yahweh, Shai, his son, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, which is his true name in the Hebrew, uh, is Yahweh, Shai. So I'm gonna come with the scripture right here. It's uh, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 25, verse 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do in uh, they Salakia, they shall do in Edom, Edom, which is the Edomites, uh, to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my visions, says the Lord God. You know, that's the most high uh, son will come down here to save his people, to save his righteous people. That's uh, keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments to best to their ability. You know, out there uh, preaching the word truly and sincerely. Just like the scripture says, they make their body a living sacrifice for the name in the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, Yahweh thy power, which is for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and you Israelites that be like unto the speckled bird, you know, he's coming to save his people. You know, the true justice is coming on high from the most high, like the chariots, and the chariots be like the whirlwind. Just like that song, sweet low swing cherry, come and carry me home, you know. That's for my ancestors, you know. This that new song in Jerusalem, you know. This this new song of bird that's been that's definitely is being praised on the earth right now. Even though uh Jacob's trouble is already approaching. We see it right in front of our eyes. You know, what the uh with the man of the Lord out there uh, prophesying against Babylon and Mount Seir, you know, and, and prophesying against all the unrighteousness stuff that's going on in the world today and around, and around us, uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and around the other nations as well, too, you know. Because uh, two-thirds of Israel, you know, they still going to be blind to the fact that, you know, you're not going to get real justice from Esau's Edom uh, system. This system that's not what's made for you. Just like the uh, scripture says uh, in the Holy Bible, uh, Micah 2 and 10, this is not your rest. You know, depart. 
but it's not like saying depart uh, in the not depart from Babylon, flee from Babylon. No, it's flee from Edom system and Edom society spiritually, his philosophies, his customs, a way of living. That's which is unrighteous, which is upside down. Just like the scripture says, uh, surely you're turning up things, surely uh, turning uh, things is upside down. So, you know, don't follow the ways of the Gentiles and the other nations. You know, you're supposed to be a holy people, a uh, set apart people, you know. You're the nation of Israel, a uh, holy priesthood. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and uh, Native Americans. You are the Israelites that the Bible was speaking of. So, the true vengeance comes from the Most High Son, Hamashiach, Yahawashai. That's what we really supposed to uh, depend upon. You know, he's our Savior. You know, Israel, that needs to be saved. These other nations don't need to be saved, you know. The ones who need to be saved is the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled bird Israelites that the world amongst the other nations as well, too. And I'm bringing the scripture out again. Uh, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 25, verse 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fear. And they shall know my visions, saith the Lord God. You know, this is this is not our words. This is coming from the Holy Bible. It's not, you know, we have we were not gonna do anything to our own will, you know. Only thing we doing is prophesying, you know, speaking the words of the holy words as we is commanded to do. As the man of the Lord, just like the Most High, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai. You know, they set up the order for the elders and the apostles, our great elders and apostles, you know, for giving us this truth, you know, starting with the Most High, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. You know, the elders and apostles, they're the true mouthpiece, great millstone. They're the true mouthpieces of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And the elders in the, in the GMS camp, I scattered through the four corners of the earth and through the brotherhood as well too from the order from on top and on bottom you know so you know uh, vengeance is the most high son Yahweh Hamashiach Yahweh that's why we call our, that's our big brother uh, Hamashiach Yahweh who you can call Jesus Christ so our true justice we get from Ohio, which is the most high son of Mashiach Yahweh And one more time, we'll bring this scripture out Ezekiel chapter 25, verse 14. And I will lay my hand, Salakia, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the elect men of Israel, and the Israelite elect men that be like on the speckled bird make up the lost sheep of the house of Israel and they will do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fear they shall know my visions saith the Lord God so you know the most high is, is going to definitely know that you know he's coming to save his people for their sins not the other Gentile nations these other Gentile nations don't need to be saved from nothing yeah, they might be going through a little trials and tribulations. But this holy book is talking about one particular people, one holy and peculiar people. You know, it's the nation of Israel. From Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, and it make up the 12 tribes of Israel, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The Most High is going to save his people when he's going to. Have his son Hamashiach Yahushai to save his people for their sins, for their transgressions and iniquity. You know, and being back to a holy priesthood, like they supposed to be, to be back on top as the the true governors in the earth, the true judges on the earth is the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, they go set things up back right not upside down because everything is upside down in this society right now 
It's like these signing into laws, these unrighteous decrees, you know, all that's going to be done away with in the kingdom. It's going to be established a new righteous kingdom, you know. You know, the most highest people, just like the scripture says, sitting on 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. You know, the house of David is getting risen back up spiritually and mentally prepared, you know, with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know, we don't have to harm nobody or anything like that. That's not what we're talking about. You know, the brothers the brothers and the elders, apostles, and the men of the Lord, the servants, the prophets out there, this prophesying, this work, that's all they are doing. But the true justice is going to come for the Israelites that's keeping the law, statutes, and the commandments to the best of their ability. You know, and once this word be preached to the four corners of the earth, and then shall end come, and then this true gospel will be preached. And it is being preached right before your eyes. And you're seeing a lot of prophecies unfold as well, too. And I'm bringing the scripture out for the very last time. And this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 25, verse 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, and that shall do in Edom according to my anger, not according to our anger, according to the Most High's anger, you know, according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord God, you know, according to his vengeance. And he's going to use his people Israel as well, too. You know, it's going to be that order. So we have no power to do anything. You know, that's why we need to save your Hamashiach, your Havashah. I'll be brother, your Havashah, who you even call Jesus Christ. He's going to save his people for their sins. And the ones that's keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. The servants of prophets. That's out there week in and week out, making their uh, living price, living making their living bodies a sacrifice for standing up so bold and stiff for the name of, the, of their power Yahweh Bashim El Shah you know standing up in righteousness you know through the spirit you know through the Holy Spirit and through these scriptures and with wisdom and knowledge and understanding you know this true justice is going to come from on high which is the most high in the son Hamashiach Yahweh He's going to save his people. And I repeat, and I repeat again, he's going to save his people for their sins. So the true justice is coming on this earth to save his people, you know. And with that, I uh, hope that was edifying. And first and foremost, I would like to give all praise and some glory and double homage to you. To Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Rekakadash. Double honors to the elders of Apostle Great Man Stone who preach this word, truly, sincerely, strongly, and faithfully, truly, sincerely. And shout out well to the Akim that scattered through the four corners of the earth, preaching this word, truthfully, and sincerely. And uh, shout out well to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird who preaching this word, truthfully, and sincerely. For making their living bodies, bodies and sacrifices for the name of our power, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah. And with that, I would say, shout out well.